Hey friends, today I am decluttering and organizing the items inside of my kitchen cabinets in preparation to start painting them. I had an idea to paint my cabinets white and to give them a little bit of an update and I just wanted to make sure that everything was clean on the inside of the cabinets and decluttered and ready to go for the painting project. If you're new to my channel today, welcome. My name is Jenny and I'm a mom of three from Louisiana. And my tagline here on YouTube is clean your way to calm. So as a mom who struggles with anxiety and depression, I love to use cleaning as therapy. And I find that having a clean and calm space for myself and my family is one of the best ways that I can manage my mental health. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, I would love for you to subscribe and join my YouTube family. And thank you again so much for watching. As you can see here, I am just going through all of my cookbooks. I have a lot of cookbooks and many of them I don't use. Some of them I do use seasonally and so I just wanted to make sure and pare those down before I put them back in my cabinet. Next to my cookbooks, you'll see all of my recipe binders and that is where I keep all of my go-to recipes that I have found either online or in other cookbooks and I have printed them out and just have them ready to go. And now that I have a little extra space in this cabinet, I went ahead and put some meal prep containers next to the cookbooks. And now I am starting in the next cabinet, and this is my Tupperware and container cabinet. And it's really pretty bare, actually, because a lot of them over the years have gotten broken or damaged or lost, uh, to be honest. And so I kind of need to replenish them, I think. So I'm cleaning out this cabinet. It's gonna look really bare but I do plan on getting myself some new containers soon to place in here. A lot of the things you saw me pull out of here don't actually belong in this cabinet, so I will be moving those over to another cabinet once I'm finished decluttering. And the way I usually like to declutter is by making four different piles. The first pile is things that belong in the cabinet. The second pile is things that don't belong in the cabinet but belong somewhere else. The third pile is donations and then the fourth pile is trash. So that's what you see me doing here. I'm getting everything into one of those four piles. For this particular cabinet, I had a lot of things that just belonged in another cabinet or in a different place in my house. So I went ahead and put those away where they belong and then I'm loading back this cabinet with only the things that actually belong in this cabinet. Which, like I said, since that's Tupperware, I'm pretty low on Tupperware right now in containers. So this cabinet is pretty open. Now this cabinet right here is kind of a multi-use cabinet for our family. I keep a bin with receipts in it that I need to save and I keep the hair cutting kit when I give the boys their haircuts. And we have our little table talk bin with some table talk um, conversation topics for after dinner. And then I also have the kids schoolwork and all the different paperwork that goes with that and anything I might be keeping to kind of put in a little scrapbook for them for later. But as you can see here, a lot of other unrelated items have made their way into this cabinet. That is the one thing that I find about keeping things organized is that they will always become unorganized. So it's a process to keep these things up. So I am getting everything out that doesn't belong in there and I'm going back to my four piles and sorting everything into its categories. Warm and tender every single day. I'm moving these popcorn containers into the container cabinet because I think that makes sense for them to stay there. And then I'm gonna reload this cabinet with all of the things I've decided will go in here. Now here above the fridge is where I keep all of my candles, but I've never liked having them up here because they're hard to get to. Here are all the candles that I pulled out that I will put in a different cabinet. Our 
So I'm just quickly going through them and smelling all of them and making sure that they are scents that are pleasing to me and that I want to keep and that none of them are messing with my allergies or anything like that. And I came across, I think it's called the pumpkin caramel swirl, but oh my gosh, it smells so, so, so good. And it made me already want it to be fall. So I also am putting lids on all the candles to kind of preserve the scent before I put them in the cabinet. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite Bath & Body Works candle scent? And now I'm just getting back up here really quick and cleaning this cabinet out before I move on to the next one. And this cabinet right next to the fridge is the coffee cabinet. So here are the little K-cups. And I actually had some extra little organizers from when I did my kitchen drawer organization project. And so I thought I'd put the K-cups in that. And that way I could adjust the shelves down a bit and have room for some of the taller um, thermoses and drink holders that I wanted to put in there. So that is what I'm doing right now and just organizing this cabinet. And I ended up liking that so much that I took another little organizer that I had left over, the same style, and put my little tea bags in there. They used to be in the pantry and now I'm moving them with the coffee. So now it will be a coffee and tea cabinet. And these little white organizers that you see me using are just the ones from Walmart. You can get them in a little pack and it comes with different sizes and it's like $5 and it comes with I think like four or five or maybe even six different sizes of these little white uh, storage containers. So I really like them and they're useful for a lot of different things, whether it's your home office or your kitchen or in your garage. I just find them very helpful. And this right here is the baby's cabinet. His name is Alex and it doesn't really need to be decluttered. I just keep his sippy cups and his plates and bowls and bibs and then I keep some kitchen towels at the top. So I'm just gonna get it cleaned out real quick. We can do it. Now this cabinet is gonna get changed quite a bit because I keep a lot of glasses in here, but I also keep things that really belong in my china cabinet. And since I've changed everything around in my dining room, I have plenty of room to add these things to my china cabinet. So I'm gonna clear this out, clean it out, and just put a few glasses back at the bottom. Colorful one I could dream You 
In this cabinet, I just keep some things for cooking and baking, and this will not get changed much either. I'm just gonna clean it out real quick and put everything back nicely. But pretty soon we're gonna be moving on to the bottom cabinets and I do have a lot of decluttering to do in there and rearranging. So the bottom cabinets are definitely gonna be a big job. I, I So this corner cabinet right here has a lot of different things going on in it. I have my Dutch ovens, all my cast ironware, I have my ninja cooker, and we have an ice cream maker and all kinds of things. So I'm just gonna pull everything out so that I can take a look at it and decide where I want everything to go. So after thinking about it, I decided to make this cabinet a small appliance cabinet because there's a lot of room in here and I don't want to put things in here that I use on a regular basis because it's kind of hard to dig really deep down in there and get it all. So I'm just going in other cabinets and finding all the different small appliances and putting them in this cabinet. And the only one I use on a regular basis would be my toaster, but I'm gonna put that in the front just so I can easily grab it. And even though I don't use these things every day, I do use them on occasion and many times throughout the year. So I just wanna make sure I'm keeping the things that we are truly enjoying. We do like to have the griddle for making pancakes and things like that, or even just turkey burgers. I wanna get them all on there at the same time so that we can all eat them nice and hot. We don't have an outside grill, so that really helps. And then the Ninja Cooker, I actually do use a lot. The ice cream maker, we do not use that often, but the kids and I really like to do that together. So that's a fun memory that we make when we make ice cream together. So I do like to keep the things that you know are sentimental to me and that actually bring joy, but we went ahead and donated the things that we know we definitely will not be using. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And this is our little rice cooker. We use this all the time, so I'm gonna put this in the front as well. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. And this is where we keep our pots and pans. It's pretty well organized. I have these little dividers that I put everything in, but it does need a really good clean out. Let me know in the comments how often you clean inside of your kitchen cabinets. I usually only do mine maybe twice a year and I feel like I probably need to do it more often because they're always extra dirty and there's always crumbs inside and I just, I always feel like I waited a little too long to clean them. So let me know in the comments what is a good schedule to be on for cleaning inside of your cabinets. And if you have any questions about any of the organization items that I'm using or dividers or anything like that, just let me know in the comments. I would be happy to provide an Amazon link or let you know where I got them.
And here we are under the kitchen sink. I have some scrubbers over to the left, and then I have the kitchen watering can for the flowers. And then I have some stainless steel cleaner and some cleaners that I use basically only in my kitchen. And then I also have my dishwashing pods. So I'm giving this a really good clean out as well. Now this cabinet next to the dishwasher is another one of those awkward kitchen corner cabinets and I've been keeping like sticky rice supplies in here. I know that sounds kind of funny but my husband's mom is from Thailand and so she keeps us well stocked on sticky rice and all the stuff you need to make it and we love doing that as a family. And I had it back in this cabinet but it's kind of hard to get to so I've decided to move things around a bit and move all the rice equipment to another cabinet and then I'll put my cast iron um, and skillets and things in this cabinet. This is the cabinet that I'm gonna move all the sticky rice equipment to and I'm just giving it a vacuum because the toaster was in here and it just made a lot of problems. Everyone has a secret dream But I swear you got more of a scheme You're so carefree and I'm just using the Method Glass and Surface Cleaner to clean inside of my cabinets. That is not normally what I would use, but I've been running out of cleaners and Target was not stocked up last time I went. So I think I'm gonna order some online just to kind of get the products that I need. But as you can see, this is how the cabinet turned out. I love having everything ready to go and ready to use. And moving on here to a very disorganized and cluttered cabinet. This one is supposed to be like baking supplies slash casserole dishes slash mixing bowls, I think. But we're gonna rethink this and I'm going to make this primarily a baking cabinet. My daughter and I love to bake together. That's one of the things, especially around the holidays, that we like to do together for quality time. So I wanna make sure I'm keeping everything we need to be able to have fun and do that together with our aprons and everything. We like to have a good time. But I don't wanna keep anything that I know we're not gonna use. So I'm decluttering a little bit with that and putting everything back in as nicely as I can. And again, when I'm putting things back in the cabinet, I put the things toward the back that I won't be using very often and the things in the front that I will be using quite often. And this is just a little cabinet on the end that we keep the trash bags and paper towels in. And moving on to the drawers here, I have already organized my drawers in a pretty good system, but they just got a little bit disorganized. So I'm just putting everything back and getting it back to how it should be. I do have a kitchen drawer decluttering video that I can link at the end for you if you'd like to watch that. And this drawer again is pretty organized, but I just had to put a few things back that had gotten messed up. And this is where I keep my little plastic bags and this drawer just needs to be restocked. And now I'm gonna work on the three drawers to the left of my stove, which have kitchen utensils. I have smaller utensils at the top, bigger ones in the middle. And at the bottom, I have like a hand mixer and a can opener and a couple larger things, as well as the aprons.
then here on the right of the stove is my spice drawer and that just needed to be cleaned out as well as the drawer next to it that I keep all of the saran wrap and the aluminum foil and my pot holders. I went ahead and cleaned that one out as well. And here I am just taking out all the cutting boards so that I can vacuum in there and clean that cabinet out as well. And I'm so glad that I'm getting this kitchen all decluttered and organized and clean to get ready to paint it. I cannot believe that this kitchen will be a white kitchen next time I film. The next video that goes up on my channel will be my kitchen makeover video where I paint all my cabinets white and give my kitchen a little bit of an update. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm also really excited. So make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss that video. I am so thankful you spent some time with me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.